heard how breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and now new research finds that it may affect your metabolism. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandi, joins us now to talk about this research. So what are the details? I tell my kids this all the time. So this is a really interesting study. 49 participants took part over six weeks. Now, researchers found that eating breakfast regularly can affect how fat cells function by affecting the gene activity involving in fat me metabolism. So eating breakfast also increased sugar intake in cells, and this may have a protective effect and lower your risk of heart disease and type 2 diabetes. So awesome stuff. How fascinating. Did it matter how much you weighed? That's a good question, Heather. So the researchers found that participants who were obese and ate breakfast regularly had one gene or more linked to fat burning that was more active than lean people. And what's really interesting is that those with normal body weight had their metabolism speed up when they fasted because of the gene activity that's involved in fat burning. But fasting in people who are overweight increased the gene activity for inflammation, so just the opposite. Wow, well what did the participants actually eat for breakfast? Well, so what they ate, uh, anything that they wanted to, but stuck mostly to toast, cereal, and juice. Having a balanced breakfast, I believe, is important and the focus of my prescriptions today. So first of all, choose high quality carbohydrates like whole grain cereal, bread, uh, maybe even tortillas, uh, maybe even fruit. The extra fiber and nutrients will energize your body and brain. Also, don't forget about healthy proteins like milk, eggs, eggs nuts, or low-fat cheese and yogurts that really help you power through uh, until lunch. Also, breakfast is the perfect time to add in fruits and cereal and veggies and omelets. Those nutrients will help you concentrate and keep you focused. And, and finally, skip unhealthy breakfast options like donut, pastries, and muffins. They can make you feel sluggish and increase your risk for chronic disease. All the stuff you find in offices. All right, well, you have an upcoming coat drive this Saturday, and our very own Stephen Clark is performing, so tell us about it. Yeah, Stephen's a rock star, so he's coming to our fifth annual uh, charity coat drive at the Hard Rock Cafe in downtown Detroit. And yes, uh, he's going to be one of our live performers, Stephen Clark, in person. And it goes from 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock, uh, 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Please stop by anytime. We have entertainment lined up all evening. And all we ask is you bring a used or new coat to donate just as keep the Detroiters warm this winter. So gently used or new, please come on by. Great cause. Thanks so much, Dr. Nan. Thank you. Well, the number of